Good day, Columbia, and welcome to Arts Watch. I'm William Starr, and this morning we're at 701 Center for Contemporary Art, a brand new exhibit by Stephen Hayes. It's a little thought-provoking, and I can't wait for you all to see it at home. I broke one of my toys when I was a kid, and uh, it was a little car, a remote control car, and my brother took the, the motor out of the car and took the battery and put it together and made the battery move. And that sort of like blew my mind when I was a kid, so I was just like, wow, I can break my toys and make new toys. When I get ideas, they basically just sit in my head for a long time and they, they, sit and they just mutate and transform over time. Came across the image of the Brooks Slave Ship Plan, which is the image that depicts how many people they can fit inside a boat at once. I was thinking about how in high school, you don't really learn much about the transporting of people. They say they pick people up from Africa, bring them to America, and they go on to the Civil War and talk about slavery and civil rights and stuff, but they don't go into depth about all the boats. So I hand carved the backs of each one of the statues, which took me, it takes me a day to carve, hand carve each back of the statue. From there, I forged chains, all the chains that connect all the, all the statues to the pallet. The statue itself, I ended up buying wood from Home Depot and cutting it all myself by hand and trimming it and using a torch to give it that old age and patina all the metal. All the statues are real people, uh, friends and family. So I did plaster molds of all of them. So first I started with the face, then the mold of the face, and then I did a, a mold of their torso, which includes their arms. I did 15 statues. Um, I did 15 because there's an estimate that 15 million people were transported between the years of 15, 40, 18, 50. I wanted to not just make it be about African-American people or African people in general, I wanted to bring it to today and how we outsource our goods in these third world countries and sweatshop labors so they have just enough room to produce as much goods as possible. One, of the, one box is called consumption, but when I put them all together, they all stack up like Legos and they form in different shapes and it would be called, it would be called gluttony. Um, so what I did was I put myself in a sweatshop predicament where in my room I produce as much, much as these as I could possibly could in one month. Cash crop. Right here in Columbia, South Carolina, again, an amazing exhibit. Do not miss this. I'm going to throw it back to the station. Thank you for watching Arts Watch. I'm William Starrett, and have a good day, Columbia.